Thanks for joining us for part two, the finale of the entire cleaner test. In this video, I'm taking all the cleaners from part one and testing them on my Duramax's tires. These are Nitto AT, and these are the second generation. I instantly regretted not getting a set of the first gens when they were still available. I had my choice. These are louder than the gen ones. Um, they seem like they're wearing quicker, and I have not been able to keep the sidewalls clean. They are horrible at browning. Figured, you know what, this is gonna be the ultimate test for the tire cleaners that I find in my tire cleaning test. So what did I do? I started with uh, some random ones, you know, I got, all 12 of these cleaners that I bought just for this test with my own money. And it's not like I'm gonna throw them in the trash just because they didn't work the best. Kind of just randomly picked some. And so I started on this one with super clean and the amount of browning it pulled off was nuts. It was one of those oddly satisfying things. But then I went over it again with super clean and then I went over it with extra tough. Um, and this is where we're at right now, so still very dirty here on the back on this side and this side was dirtier than the other side so i do want to throw that out there uh, we started with the auto fanatics foam and i actually should mention i poured like half an ounce into the bucket and the bucket got super foamy but again we we proved that foam does not correlate to cleaning power it actually uh it didn't clean it very well at all you can actually still see these mud marks on here I don't know what the hell kind of mud that is. That is some intense staining mud. Anyway, I sprayed Brake Buster on it then the second time. And I'm looking back inside the barrels here. I scrubbed from here kind of up and it actually did get a lot of that brake residue off. But there, I didn't even touch that side. Okay, and then on this side I used Adam's tire and rubber and it did an okay job. Now this side wasn't nearly as dirty as the right hand side. Obviously we're not done yet. We're gonna attack this until she's black. And this is the one that blew me away. Adam's wheel and tire, said to be their most aggressive cleaner. Look at that. Obviously around the outside diameter, I gotta hit that a lot closer, but the inside, that's one pass. That is one pass and that, I wouldn't, if it all looked like this, I wouldn't even be hitting this again. That is clean, it's freaking awesome. All right, so we're running out of daylight here and it's getting cold quick. Tires aren't even really completely dry, but just so I don't forget what I'm doing here. On this front left, we did Zep Industrial Purple, applied very liberally, and it really actually seems like it did a pretty good job here on the back. And actually, this looks brighter in my phone than it does in real life. I can already see um, some remaining browning on this back left around here. I used a crap load of the Armor All um, Extreme Tire and Wheel just because I need to get it used up. So now you can see it really does not work. This is the worst tire I've ever tried to clean. I can't get the browning to just come off. I've tried super clean and then some extra tough. Adam's tire and rubber on the left and Auto Fanatics foam on the right. Neither one's pulling that browning off the outer perimeter. I used extra tough diluted at one to one ratio and I've reached the capacity of this chemical. It's not pulling anything extra off. So this is about as clean as I'm able to get it. Went over it one more time, and this is absolutely the cleanest I can get it. There's still this white film on here. So I'm going to fail this one out at this point. Now I'm using Adam's wheel and tire, going undiluted on the left and on the right. I diluted it two parts wheel and tire cleaner to one parts water just to get it to flow a little bit better. I'm not noticing any difference in cleaning ability and it's cleaning great. It's getting that browning off the outer perimeter that all these other chemicals have failed to remove. Back on the passenger side, we're using the Auto Fanatics foaming and it's not pulling any browning off at all. So this one's getting failed out at this point. On the left side, I'm using Adam's tire and rubber and it's also still not removing anything else at this point. So we're gonna fail it out. 
Here I've used Super Clean and I've also used Zep Purple Industrial. They both did a great job, but the Zep left a kind of a film. Here we have the Super Clean and it removed everything and it didn't leave any spots. So I'm just super tickled with how this is working. And lastly, we had Adam's wheel and tire. The only thing it left was a little bit of white around the chamfers on these letter embossments. Otherwise, it took a very close second to super clean. Wow, I finally got them clean. Check these puppies out. So here's the final result. We've got everything black as black. I ended up taking Adam's wheel and tire and super clean. Kind of did half of each tire with each chemical and they both performed about the same. They both removed all the browning and I'm absolutely tickled with how this finally turned out. The Purple Power and the Zep Purple, they were pulling a lot of it out, but it was so sunny. I was having problems um, not letting them dry and leaving those kind of white filmy spots on. So I just stuck with the Adams Wheel and Tire and Super Clean. These tires haven't looked this good since I bought them brand new. Okay, so here are the results for the entire cleaner test. And I'm just gonna walk my way through from bottom to top. Kinda have these um, grouped into categories here. At the very bottom, something you should never even consider buying. You're better off using plain water. Main green, less than $2 a bottle. It's made by Rust-Oleum. It's absolutely worthless. You could see browning coming off the sidewall when you'd spray it on, and then when you would hose the tire off, it looked absolutely no different than when you began. It literally looked better just spraying garden hose water at it than it did with this. Now they do have a stronger industrial strength, they call it, but it's actually towards the higher end of pricing compared to the rest of these, and so I'm not even going to try that. It's not something I can get at any of my stores. Whereas this is at every store I walk into, stay away from it. Okay, so still here in our bottom end, we have Adams APC. I thought this did good on a set of tires when I had to use this one night when I was out of everything else. I went back and cleaned them with some of the higher end cleaners in this test and it pulled a ton more stuff out. So this is a great all purpose cleaner, but it's a terrible tire cleaner and it's actually pretty high priced. Armor All. This stuff is actually the same chemical composition, I believe, as Purple Power, so it must just be really diluted, and then there's some foaming agents in it. Well, this stuff foams the most out of any of these, and I can tell you from this testing that foaming has no correlation to cleaning power. Yes, it helps with cleaning and keeping that chemical on the tire so it can sit there and react with all that grime, but this stuff is just a watered down waste of money in a bottle. So stay away from this stuff. It also stained paint. Simple Green didn't really do a very good job of cleaning tires. It's actually towards the upper end of this group because of the tie breakers I'm using, which are cost and flexibility. So if two things are equally worthless, then I'm gonna go with the one that's cheaper on top. And if they're both cheap, I'm gonna go with the one that can be used for other purposes on top. This doesn't have any other purpose. This can be used for an all-purpose cleaner. It's just very, very mild. And then Brake Buster, in terms of tire cleaning, it was absolutely worthless in this test. It didn't pull any browning whatsoever off any of the tires I tried it on. I'm anxious to see how it does on wheel uh, brake dust and wheel grime in the next series, which is gonna be figuring out the best wheel cleaner. We will see, but for $22 a gallon roughly, this stuff is just way overpriced and does not work at all for tires. So here in the middle category, these work so-so, and these are all really expensive. So Adam's tire and rubber, it didn't work very well at all on tires. Um, it didn't work good on tires that were heavily soiled. It didn't even work well for a weekly maintenance wash on a tire that's cleaned every week. So it went down to the bottom. I also tried it for the trim after I had done uh, polishing job and I intentionally got some on the trim pieces this didn't even hardly pull any of it out whereas super clean clean that trim right up so for the price that they're charging for this which I believe is like over $40 for a gallon it's just ridiculous we also have uh, auto fanatics um, 
foaming tire clean tire and wheel cleaner i actually uh don't have the bottle for that i just replaced it with a snowstorm but the auto fanatics tire cleaner was really expensive didn't do much of anything at all coming out of a foam cannon i ended up putting it in an old armor all bottle that had a foaming tip on the spray bottle and we got some decent cleaning out of it but for 32 dollars for one little 16 ounce bottle um, and I'm mixing it at a one-to-one -one ratio to get any sort of actual cleaning power out of it out of a heavily soiled tire This is just a joke. I mean, this is the most overpriced thing in this whole test next we go on to extra tough this stuff um, The reviews I sa saw said that this was odorless and it was a really nice natural cleaner it's safe for everything it Smells like ammonia. I might as well go to the store and get a bottle of ammonia and put some water in it for what this smells like. It's horrible. It cleans so-so. These two can uh, get a tire fairly clean, but they still leave a film of residue that they just absolutely cannot take off. No matter if you apply them one-to-one, -one, full strength, doesn't matter. And this one's also over $30 a gallon. So these kind of go in the middle because they kind of work, but they're so overpriced and they don't work well enough that they're just in a category of their own. And this is where I draw the line. I wouldn't waste your money on any of these. I would stay far, far away from all these on the bottom. If you're wanting to do some testing of your own, I'd suggest going with any of these four here in the top. These two here, the Zep Purple Industrial Cleaner and Purple Power, they both perform very, very similarly. They both kind of hurt the respiratory system when you mist them out of a spray bottle. So you got to be careful about that. And that is one of the reasons they absolutely didn't get into the uh, top podium position because I'm not going to use something that is going to hurt my lungs or that I have to worry about spraying around uh, my pets and kids and stuff like that. So they both did a really, really good job cleaning, but they both have a really strong odor. They both will also leave streaking on the sidewalls if you don't hose them off immediately. It's worse if you apply them to a dry tire. It works a lot better if you apply them to a tire that's already wet down. If you're doing it in the direct sunlight like we're in right now, it's going to be a lot more prone to getting that streaking. Now this stuff, the cheapest place I found it was Menards during an 11% sale. You can get a five gallon jug just like this and it's under 30 bucks. This is $22 at Walmart for this five gallon jug. One really bad thing is you cannot get all of the product out of this container. It's physically impossible because the ports, neither one is all the way at the bottom of the jug. It's just the way it's designed. You're gonna have wasted product inside here and I really hate that about it. You actually have to drill a hole in this container to get the very last amount of product out. And we actually still have product in here right now because I can't get it out. So if the price isn't that much different to get just a one gallon jug, I'd highly recommend getting the one gallon jugs because these are a pain in the butt to get your product out of. Up here on the top end, it could actually be a tie for first. We've got Adam's wheel and tire cleaner and super clean now. Again, the reason I put uh, super clean first was because we have the tie breaker in effect here, which is this is much cheaper and it's got more uses. So let's talk about Adams. Adams products usually don't disappoint me. I was very disappointed in the tire and rubber cleaner, but this wheel and tire cleaner, I mixed it at either one parts Adams to half a part water or even one to one. And I got my maximum strength there. I couldn't spray it out of the bottle undiluted it was just too thick and too jelly this stuff this stuff worked incredibly well facing these two off against each other it was really hard to pick a clear winner in terms of which one could pull more crud out super clean i can use it as an apc for everything i can use it as a mild carpet cleaner i can use it as a, a pre-wax prep it's just uh it's too versatile for me to want to invest $32 to $40 a gallon for this Adams product when I can buy this for $8 a gallon and I can use this for a lot more stuff. So that's just one less bottle, you know, that I don't have to carry around with me when I'm detailing. It's, I can carry this and I can do most of my jobs with this. 
you're going to be hard pressed, I think, to find anything that's going to perform better than either of these two chemicals here in terms of being able to get that tire crystal clean, black as black, looking new, get all the possible browning out of it that you can get. These are what I would go with. So thanks for watching this whole video. I know it was a long one. Um, it was a lot of fun doing it though. I watched so many videos to get to this point and there were a lot of recommended products that I tested here that were highly praised that I was just purely disgusted with. So I hope you know, I bought all of these with my own money. Um, nobody's sponsoring this. I'm not big enough for anything like that. I don't have a problem telling it how it is. I'm not gonna lie to you, because I, I get really mad when these other videos claim to be reviewing stuff and they're just paid you know, advertisers and it's just, aggravating to see that stuff out there but you know this stuff's gonna work um, after watching this whole thing so the next series as I said will be wheel cleaners so we'll test a bunch of these again to see which ones perform the best on wheels getting that brake dust etc off and then at the very end we'll combine results from the two tests to see which one's the best overall so you can only carry one bottle around with you when you're detailing instead of having again to carry two separate cleaners around. So thanks again guys and we'll catch you in the next video.